Yes? No? Okay, great, great, great. I'm very happy to be here hosting the AMA tonight. Uh, very rarely that we have Wormhole, Kev, uh, Wombat, Wombat Ecosystem, Magpie, Wombax, and Paul all here at the same time. Um, obviously, we're here to talk about some collaborations that's going on. I'm just going to go around and uh, let the, well, all the speakers do a round of introduction of themselves. Um, I should start with uh, Wormhole, if we have someone from Wormhole here. Hey guys, I'm Anthony. Um, I work at Jump. I contribute to Wormhole. Um, I do everything from like BD partnerships, strategy, ops, um, and, and been working on the ecosystem for a couple of years. So awesome to be here. Uh, thanks. Thank you so much. And uh, do we have someone from Chess Network here? Um, what about, uh, no one from Piff is here. Let's pass the mic to um, Alex first while we hunt down Piff. Hey everyone, um, Alex from Wombat Exchange, uh, uh, the founder. I'm happy to be here working with all these like great people, obviously. Um, we're big fans of Wormhole, uh, Wombex, Qual, Magpie. And obviously, um, great to see some familiar faces here in Sammy, Anthony, um, the CEOs. Oh, I think Robinson was here before. I think and Barat. Hey, Barat, how's it going, man? And you know, happy to be a part of this whole kind of like push to Arbitrum with the entire ecosystem. I'm actually working working with Wormhole and doing that. So yeah, um, just happy to be here. Thank you, Alex. Um, can I pass the mic to um, Arbitrum, uh, Barat? Just just say a few words and give a self introduction. Yeah. Sounds great. Uh, thanks for having me today, guys. Uh, my name is Barad. I run partnerships at Offchain Labs, uh, which is, you know, the project contributing to the Arbitrum protocol. Um, you know, Arbitrum is now like the largest layer two protocol um, by TBL. We have around like $6 billion locked on chain. Um, and, you know, it's kind of been the home for DeFi for the last 12 months. So really excited this is happening and uh, just really appreciate um, the work that Alex and like the Wombat team is on the Wombex team and as well as Anthony from uh, Wormhole. So like, super, super excited to chat today, guys. Thank you so much, Bora. We actually met someone from your team. Uh, I think it's Chiwa uh, yesterday at an event. Um, amazing team you guys have, and uh, very active as well. Uh, but I should I should pass the mic to uh, Wombax to say something and give a self introduction. Yeah, hey everyone, GM. Great to be here. Uh, great to see all our friends here as well. Um, so I'm one of the core contributors on on Wombax. Uh, been Working a few years now full time in uh, the crypto space, mainly mainly looking at DeFi, crypto infrastructure stuff, and now working on on Wombex. Uh, super great to be here. Thank you so much. And uh, if you pass the mic to Backpie now, say something about yourself, please. Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Alan, and I'm the project lead of Magpie. Uh, so I have been previously worked for Silicon Valley tech giant like Google, and I have been involved in the crypto space since the last bull cycle. So yeah, I'm super uh, passionate about blockchain and DeFi, and I'm very excited to be here and share more information about our project. Thank you. Well, thank you from Web2 to Web3. It's always to have someone comfort here tonight. And uh, last but not least, uh, I'll pass the mic to Paul. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Murillo, uh, one of the co-founders of CoFinance, and I manage the marketing and business development for our platform. Uh, very excited to be here. Uh, been a true DeFi supporter and believer for a while, as well as a true believer of cross-chain. So I think that this conversation now, it's uh, very, time, very timely, perfect. So looking forward to the conversation today. Thanks very much for hosting it. So looking forward to it. Thank you so much. I guess since it's about Wombat ecosystem today, I'll pass the mic to Alex to explain what exactly is Wombat, but do try to keep it short because Alex likes to go on and on and on. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> uh, Wombat is, uh, I guess you would say, like a hyper, what we call a hyper efficient multi chain stable swap, uh, soon to be cross chain. Obviously, we are working with uh, 
all the likes of um, Wormhole, Wombex, Magpie, Qual, and just like the amazing team at Pith as well as Jump. Um, so what sets us, sets us apart is basically we have a very novel algorithm, which is, uh, I would say, the most capital efficient. And also, I would say kind of in a, in a kind of math nerd kind of way, it's most algorithmically beautiful in a sense that it's simple, it's effective, it's fast. And through that, we're able to, you know, uh, be one of the main trading routes on one inch and the most aggregators. And, you know, I'm very happy to have a bunch of uh, aggregators here building on top of Wombat and obviously expanding the wormhole and Pith ecosystem. So uh, I hope that's short enough for you, Kate. Thank you, thank you. Very humble. I, I, at least you didn't start chilling about your TVL on, on Arbitrum yet, so that's all good. <laughs> uh, let me pass the mic. Yeah. <laughs> let me pass the mic to Wormhole. Um, can we please have a short? I, I think most of the listeners know what Wormhole is. You guys are uh, obviously very big and very active in the whole Web3 space, but do give a short intro as to what is Wormhole and um, how, um, in the sense that Wormhole is supporting Wabat and, uh, and this journey. That's awesome. I, I was looking forward to a long, like, Alex answer. And then also about, like, how big they've been on Arbitrum, like, to start. Thanks, man. They're running the leaderboard, dude. Yeah, you guys are, you guys are running up the leaderboard. Um, so, so yeah, Wormhole, I mean, like, like you mentioned, you know, we've been around for two years. We're probably, like, the first, like, um, interoperability protocol that, that really kind of got started and was live. Like, a lot of them came online last year, but Wormhole's been around for, for a minute. Um, so, you know, how... how so, so basically, what does that mean? So it means like, you know, connecting um, the highest value chains like BNB and Arbitrum, obviously like the, you know, two like marquee chains. It means like building products that, that make it easier for, um, you know, for any project to go cross chain, building infrastructure for them um, to be able to do the same thing and offer the same experience that they want to offer on their home chain anywhere else. Um, or if they just want to be a native dApp that goes cross chain, like, you know, we, we're all about kind of providing infrastructure and tooling and options and then kind of like that. That, that scaffolding that, that projects need to do this kind of stuff. And we want to kind of have, you know, meet, meet the projects where they are and where they think that, you know, growth and new users come from. Um, so, and how we're supporting, you know, Wombat. So today, and then the whole ecosystem to today, um, you know, so the, it's, it's starting, like, I, I think, I think about it in phases. Um, and I think about the first bit is like, kind of like the, the Wombat, um, you know, Wombex, Quoll, Magpie, you know, they'll be moving their tokens um, over, you know, like, like they're expanding into Arbitrum. So you can take their tokens and you can move them over and have them work fungibly um, in the Arbitrum ecosystem. And then, you know, in time, I think we'll see more and more kind of functionality happen with that. Um, so it'll be a lot around, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so be, there'll be more functionality that'll come around there. There'll be cross-chain you know, governance, cross-chain staking, um, you know, like voting, like there'll, there'll be a whole piece to this. And I think the thing that I'll say last is that, um, you know, the cross-chain narrative and journeys is really kind of unfolding with crypto. It's, it's pretty, it's, it's new. There's a lot of stuff to, to kind of, to be figured out and to, to kind of like happen. So, you know, we want to work with great partners and great projects and then really let them lead the way and then tell them what we have them tell us what we need, uh, to build for them in order to be successful and grow. So I'll, I'll, I'll stop there. Thank you so much, Anthony, but you're hiding too much in your, uh, the alpha in your pocket. I hope Alex do say more later on for a listener. But um, I'll pass the mic to uh, Wombax to give a little intro of what you guys do for a Wombat, uh, Wombat ecosystem. Sure, sure. Uh, so Wombex is essentially a yield aggregator. I would say two key parts of what Wombex does. So one is um, aggregate yield by uh, collecting WOM from the market and using this WOM, uh, locking it in, in Wombat to capture boosted yield and share that with liquidity providers. Also provides a venue for WOM holders to be able to uh, stake their WOM, uh, generate additional uh, fees, um, and as well, another key part is the bright market infrastructure, which allows uh, issuers and the governance holders to be able to uh, monetize their governance power in order to be able to uh, direct WAM allocations to specific pools. Uh, so, yeah, we've been um, uh, got to had the had the opportunity to meet Alex and the Wombat team. Uh, do quite early on in their journey, I guess, during their Binance Labs incubation 
time and were super fascinated by what they were doing. Uh, definitely saw the need to have this type of protocol and started working on on Wombex during during that time. It's been uh, a super interesting journey and definitely looking forward to you know expansion on Arbitrum. We've been super excited about it for a while. Um, I think like all of the really interesting innovation and activity in DeFi in the last few months has been kind of like heavily concentrated on Arbitrum for sure. Um, we knew that there's a very vibrant ecosystem. We've been uh, following very closely, got to know some of the projects there, and now uh, we've been very excited about the launch. Now that it's happened, we um, we kind of see, you know, like uh, the data, like on-chain data, TVL and other things like that definitely is like exceeded our, our expectations. We knew it was going to be very well received. Like there's a, you know, very vibrant community of uh, DeFi uh, liquidity providers, developers, users uh, on Arbitrum, and um, now that we're live on Arbitrum, it's uh, you know we're lo we're looking forward to continue to expand there. I also had the opportunity to work with the Wormhole guys, um, a brilliant team, and uh, I think that's like one of the areas also has been kind of uh, a really interesting learning experience for us, especially with Wormhole, you know, being like one of the pioneers for. Uh, like kind of general methods passing infrastructure, which is you know very critical for um, like multi-chain, cross-chain, DeFi, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, being like one of the early protocols as well, doing it, it's you know like I think today increasingly DeFi protocols are multi-chain. Like very few of them are just like on on one chain alone, and even the ones that were like PancakeSwap, for example, now are on on multiple chains. Uh, same situation for like Trader Joe and others. So like most of the protocols are like multi-chain. So I, I guess like for us, it's been a um, a very interesting and like great learning experience as well in some ways. So yeah, that's a brief intro and some perspective from the Wombex side. Thank you so much, Sambi from Wombex. Um, I know um, some people who are listener or Womb holder thinks that um, Wombex or Magpie or Pro is similar in a sense. But as a user myself, they can actually have very different yields depending on which pool is your favorite pool. So do go check them out uh, if, you're, if you're a warm holder and you're a listener right now. And right now I'll pass the mic to, uh, pass the mic to uh, Magpie. Thank you. So uh, yeah, um, Magpie basically is a multi-chain DeFi platform that provides yield and the tokenomics boosting services. Uh, so we are incubated by Wombat Exchange. And we um, was launched on BNB Chain in October 2022 uh, with a focus on maximizing benefits for users who are liquidity providers or governance voters. Uh, and Magpie has just launched Arbitron uh, one week ago, expanding uh, yield opportunities for Arbinance. And uh, we are committed to maintaining a symbiotic um, relationship with uh, uh, between Magpie and Wombat in order to maximize the functionalities of both protocols in the long term. Uh, and Magpie focuses on locking WOM token as VE1, uh, which simultaneously decreases the circulating supply of uh, WOM token to uh, help control the inflation and also enables Magpie to uh, earn more WOM emissions and control the uh, governance voting power uh, on WOM bets. And currently, uh, Magpie has controlled 27% um, of VE1 on BNB chain and uh, close to 50% of VE WOM on Arbitron, allowing our users to make uh, the most uh, from their assets. Yeah, that's a um, brief intro about uh, Magpie. Thank you. Thank you so much, Magpie. I love you. Start showing the numbers. Let's get this going. But uh, I'll pass the mic to Cole meanwhile. So uh, Equifinance, so we are a youth boost protocol and we're built on Wombat Exchange like the others, right? And that allows users to benefit as much as possible with uh, their, own whole, uh, their own tokens or stable coins. And uh, while doing this, we focus on providing users with uh, as much flexibility as possible. That's the idea. Yeah, in order to take advantage of the boosted APR uh, in Wombat's current system, the, the users need to perform liquidity mining and lock WOM tokens. But uh, with Cofinance, uh, Co we collect the WOM tokens and liquidity in a common place, and we allow everyone to get maximum yield for their asset uh, that they hold. 
uh, Cole and Wombat got a very tight symbiotic bond going on and we're always pushing to make it even stronger, right? Uh, we know that managing liquidity in DeFi is crucial for everybody involved. So users, protocols, and all the networks themselves. We are uh, about directing the liquidity to options that really benefit everyone involved. That's, that's the plan. And that's what we're doing. And that's why we're constantly working on to improve and make Wombat's super handy infrastructure more accessible to even a, a larger amount of users. And uh, this way we can take this whole ecosystem to even higher heights. And uh, at the end of the day, being a truly useful protocol is the most important uh, reality in the DeFi world. And we know this and we're always discussing with our users and as well as amongst ourselves on uh, how we can do more. And I think that that's one of the things that, that, that we do here. So thanks for letting us uh, participate. Thank you. Thank you so much. It seems like Wombat Exchange is bringing a whole crew or gangsters over from BNB to Arbitrum. Um, since I couldn't squeeze any alpha from Wormhole, Alex, can you please give more details and more alpha for listener as to what exactly are you guys going to do in this cross-chain and uh, like, uh, cross-chain uh, stable swap AMM aspect? Yeah, thanks. So I think one of the things about... Um, the current, like, a lot of the designs of these stable swaps is that uh, they're kind of focused on one chain. And I think Wombat, obviously, we have the most capital efficient, um, I guess, like a, a traditional style AMM kind of algorithm. So I think that's that's why I think we did so well on BNB chain. And I think when we uh, finally finalize all the one inch integration, we'll probably do the same on Arbitrum as well. And, but I think uh, the powerful part of like Wombat and actually partnering with Wormhole and all these like all these aggregators is that um, we're actually bringing a very new kind of like um, like aspect to DeFi in the sense that you know we're ha- we're kind of like the first uh, amalgamation of what Curve is, but at the same time what what Stargate is, and we're bringing that with you know a bunch of like uh, great projects like Wombat, Mankind, and Qual. And I think that's kind of like the real the real beauty of it is that um, um, how Curve handles it is a lot different than how uh, Wombat handles it. For example, obviously all the voting rights and all the all the governance and stuff happens all on Ethereum only. But in my opinion, I think having all this different kind of like um, kind of like islands of, of voting where people on BNB chain has no right to vote on what Arbitrum does and what Arbitrum does is really you know enclosed in what the people in the ecosystem want to vote for. And I think that's ultimately it's important because, you know, in DeFi and crypto, you want to give people a choice. You want to give people the ability to, you know, choose and vote with their feet. And I think that's that's a powerful thing. I mean, at this point, if people don't want to be on BNB, they can just like, you know, bridge over using Wormhole and you can just vote and be a part of the Arbitrum ecosystem and vice versa. I think like that's that's the power of DeFi and that's like kind of the beauty and essence of it. And on top of that, I think there, uh, in terms of alpha, I think um, there's a lot of things that are coming out. Um, obviously, thanks to Wombex helping out with our volatile asset algorithm that's coming out very soon. Um, we're going to probably do a lot more volume uh, uh, coming because we have a very capital efficient uh, swapping alg- algorithm, just like we did on stable peg pairs. Now we can do it with more volatile asset pairs, which is very exciting because um, not only not only will we have uh, stable coins, that are be able to swap across chains. Uh, we'll be able to you know swap efficiently using our new like uh, what we call like quad crypto or tri crypto kind of thing pool, like similar to Curve, but in a much more capitalistic, fast manner. So there, there's there's tons of ways, uh, tons of things that uh, that's, that's happening. Um, obviously, we are uh, uh, have a lot more uh, partners that are joining the bribes and kind of stuff. It's, so it's mega exciting. So yeah, thanks for all these like projects being here and supporting Wombat and like and for, thanks for Wormhole and Pets being here. Alex is uh, doing very abnormal today because he usually talks on for an hour, but <laughs> let me pass the white, uh, mic to one back. Uh, can I just ask you, um, what do you feel when you cross to Arbitrum, but you actually have a strong supporter like Wormhole? What does that bring to your community, uh, Mike to one back? Yeah, it's a good question. So, um, I mean, we've been uh, preparing for the Arbitrum deployment for some time. Um, so, and we've been, uh, you know, quite excited about it. But like a couple of key things that was, you know, very critical or important for us from the protocol perspective. Uh, 
of course, like security is the number one thing there, right? So w when we look at the the landscape in terms of you know like uh, different options around general message passing infrastructures or bridges, uh, um, like wormhole was one like it was a like very obvious choice um, for multiple reasons I think, but I think like that was one of the really important things for us. Um, so I think like security was super critical. Uh, besides that, we also knew like on Arbitrum, the you know the the, the DeFi ecosystems like very large. And today also we did like our uh, TVL on Arbitrum just flipped our TVL on BNB chain by a little bit, so it's like 33 mil on on Arbitrum, around 31 mil on BSC, uh, which is also very cool. Like just like I guess one week since the launch. Um, but yeah, in terms of like uh, wormhole specifically, I think that was being really one of the most important things is, is around like uh, support, but also of course like the wormhole team uh, has been super supportive, helped like with the integration deployment, not like many parts or like important aspects around that. So I think these were like really critical factors for us, but I would say primarily like the number one concern for us. And also, you know, the main driver was around security. And that's where we felt like, you know, uh, Wormhole was really like one of the outstanding ca candidates for uh, the infrastructure to use to do this. Thank you so much. And I just want to pass mic to Arbitrum to uh, get your two cents on what do you think about um, Wombat Exchange bringing the full crew over. And now on top of it, we have the full support of Wormhole, Piff and Jump. Um, what does Arbitrum think? Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, it's really exciting. So th there are two reasons why I think, you know, Arbitrum is, is kind of like the perfect home for this DeFi stuff that's happening. And, you know, on one side, it's the tech. Um, you know, you know, we believe that Arbitrum is the most mature roll up stack in the space right now. Uh, from a tech and security standpoint, you know, we have interactive fraud proofs that are alive. So, you know, our optimistic roll up scheme works and it's in the in, in the wild. So I think a lot of DeFi teams really respect Arbitrum for, you know, prioritizing security. Um, you know, to make sure that there aren't any issues with like the chain getting reorged or pausing. Uh, the DeFi experience has just been very smooth. And, you know, on the on the uh, like the feed side, fee side as well, if you look at a website like L2 fees, you know, Arbitrum's fees are consistently, you know, like one of the lowest uh, amongst all chains. And for as large of an ecosystem as it is and all the congestions that we have on chain, um, you know, we still have like the lowest fees, you know, simple token transfers around, you know, five cents, a swap is, you know, 10 cents. So, uh, it's really easy for like, you know, high frequency trading. Um, and, you know, on the other side is the ecosystem side. And, uh, you know, I've, Alex will probably speak to this a little bit more, but, you know, Arbitrum's ecosystem is, you know, famous for being very collaborative, right? You know, people aren't really walled off and, you know, hesitant to collaborate with each other. Uh, p people love it. You know, they really feel like a rising tide lifts all boats. So um, something that's really interesting that's happened um, is, you know, a lot of these uh, strong DeFi protocols and other chains um, whether it's like, you know, Lyra on Optimism, Gains on Polygon or Trader Joe on Avalanche, they've moved over to Arbitrum. And, you know, I think they were like a little bit nervous about, you know, will people like us on this chain? But, you know, it's been extremely positive response. If you look at those protocols, they actually have more TVL on Arbitrum than they do on their on their original home chain. So um, I, if you guys look at DeFi Llama, you can see that, you know, Wombat is just about to crack the top 10 of TVL on Arbitrum. Um, it's been like a massive success so far, and it's just going to go up into the right. So uh, super exciting times. Um, and I think Wormhole is just such a great part of the story for like helping these, you know, apps go cross chain and, you know, tap into a community that's super active, like, you know, like the Arbitrum community is. So it's it, it's a really exciting time. Thank you so much, Cora. I have to be a little biased here. I'm personally um, a user and a lover of Arbitrum as well. So I 100% agree with everything you just said. But um, since we're uh, a little bit close to the time right now, I'll give the each protocol a little bit time to show and please give some call to actions to our listener, some alpha, something that they can benefit from. Um, let's start with uh, Paul. Uh, do you guys have anything that's going on on Arbitrum right now? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we, you know, we want to provide all users with the, the highest possible returns in their uh, existing assets. And we're confident that we will take this even further in the long run. So, you know, as you were mentioned before, you know, we're, we're friendly competition with other protocols, but we also understand that every protocol is crucial 
for the advancement of the wombat ecosystem. And uh, we incorporate this understanding in all of our action plans. So uh, we believe that learning should be long-term and sustainable, right? And we're firm believers that wombat ecosystems, uh, every chain expansion should uh, equally benefit every user uh, it reaches. And for this reason, we are constantly striving to develop our plans for the future to make them even better. Uh, and lastly, I want to emphasize that every user has their own risk tolerance and strategy tailored to it. So regardless of the risk level that you're comfortable with, Quo Finance can definitely offer you an advantageous proposal at some point. And that's why I highly recommend that you keep an eye on our protocol. If you free, you, uh, if you just feel free to ask any questions you may have about it through our social media channels. So thanks for the opportunity. Thank you, everyone. Do follow on Bax and do follow Paul. And I shall pass the mic to um, Mac Pie right now to please show show your TVL, show everything you can to our listener. Yeah, sure. So. Um, we have uh, launched several new stablecoin and ETH pools uh, with really juicy yields. So I encourage everyone to join and enjoy up to 50% uh, APR right now. Um, and also MWOM and WOMPAIR uh, is listed on WOMBAT exchange and the PAG is great, close to 99%. Um, and Magpie has also integrated with this pool and users can earn like more than 400 APR for their WOM deposit and more than 900 APR for their MWOM deposit. So it's a, a great opportunity if you want to passively acquire more uh, WOM tokens. And uh, last but not least, we have uh, launched a Galaxy campaign where users who complete any one of the simple on-chain tasks such as depositing uh, 100 USDC on Magpie have a chance to share a price pool of 5,000 US dollars. Thank you. Okay, I have something stick on Magpie. I hope you choose me for the 5K US dollar. <laughs> Last but not least, <laughs> I should pass the mic to uh, Alex. I know if you don't show whatever is going on on OneVax Exchange, you're probably going to get murdered by your team tomorrow. So please show. No, I think, um, thanks, thanks, Kate. I don't want to get killed by our team. So, um, no, I think, you know, at the end goal, um, Wombat's goal is to become the like, office default kind of routing for like all these like one inch uh, kind of pairs. And obviously when all these like uh, cross chain aggregators, we, we wish to become the default uh, aggregator for and route for cross chain swaps. And I think we have a strong case for that. Obviously we proved that on BNB chain and soon Arbitrum. And obviously uh, with help of wormhole, like um, our cross chain algorithm is going to be most capital efficient as well. So hopefully uh, the majority of routing will go through Wombat and you know, helping to build and push the DeFi ecosystem. I think um, in terms of like uh, projects like Wombat, Curve, Maverick Protocol, um, Trader Joe, Solidly, all these, all these, all these kind of protocols. Like the the battle actually actually isn't between how many like users you have, um, but it's actually about capital efficiency in terms of the algorithm. So um, in the future, like obviously most aggregators out there will route through the most capital efficient way. And obviously right now it is, uh, like the few that I mentioned. And I guess the powerful thing about Wombat is we, because we are, you know, implementing our, our algorithm throughout the chains, throughout all their new volatile assets. So it, it is going to bring a lot of values for not only like Wombat holders, but obviously, uh, Wombat, Squall and Magpie as well, because, you know, we are returning all these fees back to the user. So. You know, it's, it's like mega exciting. So on top of that, um, we are doing like more governance and related stuff. We are redesigning some of the pools. That's been super mega exciting. It making even more capital efficient than it really is. So yeah, just stay tuned. And, um, you know, just happy to be a part of the Arbitrum ecosystem. Um, you know, um, as just like a side note, like when I came, when we, when Wombat came to Arbitrum, it wasn't really like anything else that we've seen. Um, you know, we had a call and Trader Joe joined, uh, Camelot joined. And after that, they just like they reached out in hand, like, "Oh, let's let's work together." Like, you know, um, even though we're dexes, but let let's let's work together and and you know push each other. And I think the the atmosphere on Arbitrum is really, really and genuinely like no other in any in any like different like L ones, L twos, or whatever. And I think that's the beauty of it. So, um, with that said, I think that's that's the power of growth, and especially with Arbitrum, um, them them having such a huge. Uh, focus on DeFi. I think that's what it is. Like to me, I'm a DeFi junkie. I think everyone here, everyone else knows that. And I think DeFi is a fundamental, you know, building block infra for 
crypto in general, if you don't have good DeFi, uh, you won't have a successful blockchain. I think Arbitrum understands that very clearly, and which is why I think they have so many users. And you know, I'm honored and glad to have like all these like great partners and projects working with us. And I think just and having the, all everyone here building through the bear market is something special as well. Um, on top of that, you know, like I mentioned, all these protocols are willing to work together, even though obviously they're kind of competitors, which, you know, brings together and makes the whole experience uh, not only for the user, but, you know, for us, the builders uh, to, you know, kind of enjoy. And I think that's that's something I think the entire the entire crypto space needs. And I think and I hope, you know, other ecosystems kind of learn from how Arbitrum is kind of handling it. Thank you so much, Alex. Um, thank you for keeping it short as well. Um, anyone that's a DeFi junkie, uh, if you know more about, want to know more about DeFi, ping Alex personally. He'll talk to you on and on and on for hours. And I'm sure if anyone is all into cross-chain, ping Wormhole. Wormhole goes on and on as well. But I'm very happy to be hosting this AMA tonight today, and we're going to end it here. But I'm very happy and excited to look forward to what this mega gang is going to bring over from uh, BSC chain to uh, Arbitrum and see what they can achieve. Um, stay tuned. Follow everyone's Twitter, follow Wormhole, follow Wombex, follow Cole, follow uh, Magpie, and obviously follow Wombex Exchange. Thank you so much for your time tonight. And uh, let's have a good night or a good evening. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thank you. Super fun. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you later. Thanks, everyone.